Janet Davey. Thank you, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. And although I am uh, speaking virtually, I would also like to join in and express my thanks and best wishes to Ray Mortimer. Um, I welcome the uh, amendments being uh, proposed today. I can see that both houses take the culture of bullying and the harassment extremely seriously in Parliament. And Mr Speaker has shown his commitment to all staff working on the estate. The creation of the Independent Complaints and Grievance Scheme is a significant undertaking and we need a system that works. And in the spirit of supporting uh, the scheme to be the best it can be, I need to raise the issue of discrimination against Black, Asian and minority ethnic people to ensure that it is, it is not overlooked. And indeed, I, it's already been mentioned uh, in this House, so I am uh, feeling uh, fairly confident that it is not being overlooked in this uh, debate. Parley Reach, the Workplace Equality Network, focused on enhancing racial and cultural awareness in Parliament. It released a report in 2019 which showed the scale of difficulties that people from diverse backgrounds alone face. The Stand in My Shoes report found that this staffing group in particular faced daily struggles to be treated uh, with respect and with decency. From cleaning staff right to MPs and peers, we can be made to feel unwelcome in the very own place we work in. Staff reported having their presence questioned and equal opportunities denied. Parley Reach said that many of their members were reluctant to speak up when they felt discriminated against. They spoke about worrying that they would be seen as calling the race card and feared recrimination as a result. They felt that they had to be cautious to pick their battles carefully. This should not be the environment that staff are being made. They uh, have to work in on, on top of the work they, they have to do. It's very, um, it's, it's very uh, distressing. Parliament must therefore advocate justice equally for all protected characteristics. And I myself, have had a completely demoralising encounter when I was relatively new to this house. I was made to feel as though I did not belong here. And I feel this was because of my gender as well as my ethnicity. Although this happened almost three years ago and uh, I went through the formal complaint system, it is still yet to be resolved. Does this tell us that tackling racial discrimination is a priority for the ICGS? Because it absolutely must be. Cases must be addressed faster and each one treated with care and the sensitivity it deserves. Parley Reach also pointed out the need to make the ICGS more accessible for their members. For non-desk based staff in Parliament, many of whom are from Black, Asian and minority ethnicities, it is not easy to make a complaint. If they don't work at a desk or do not own a computer at home, how can we say the system is equally working for them? when their only option is to report something to their manager, who themselves may indeed be the problem, it is not serving their needs. We must understand that many people coming from diverse backgrounds may struggle to believe that processes such as the ICGS will deliver justice. We need to ensure that they are confident in the process and that the ICGS is working for them as well as others. The amendments discussed will make uh, going through the ICGS a much smoother process, but I do hope that the comments that I've expressed will be taken into consideration so that the ICGS can be further improved to best serve all the people it pledges to help and to support.